Bonjour, do you know how to say my, your, it's, her, is in French? Well, today we are going to practice our possessive adjectives in French. If you want the support guide to this lesson, please join, click on join my community below. Right, let's have a look at possessive adjectives and what they look like. Now, as you know, in French, nothing is that simple. I'm going to try to teach it to you as simplistically as I can, but it's really hard because in French, you've got to take in consideration three things. When using a possessive adjective, you've got to think, okay, is the noun I'm using Feminine is the noun I'm using masculine, is the noun I'm using plural. But also, does it start, does it start with a vowel or an H? Now here's a chart here. Can you see that? And I've given it to you as simplistically as I can, okay, to show you that we've got four ways of using these adjectives, okay, possessive adjectives. For my, we use mon when the word that follow is masculine. For my, we're using mon when the word that follows is beginning, is beginning, begins with an H or a vowel, okay? And for my, we're using ma when the word that follows is feminine. And when the word that follows is plural, we're using me. Okay, so sometimes you have to consider, well, is the, is the word plural feminine or plural masculine? In this case, you don't. It will be me regardless whether the word that follows is feminine or masculine. But I'm going to show you some examples here. So, mon, ma, me, basically. Ignore the H and the vowel for a minute. Mon, ma, me. How do you say your then? Again, you take in consideration the masculine, the feminine, the plural, or whether the word begins with an H or a vowel. Ton, ta, te. Ton, ta, te. The most complex for, if you are an English speaker, that is, uh, for you to understand is how we say his or her or its, okay? Because in English, it's very different. If you wanted to say, for example, her, it is, let's say, it's her coat, okay? Now, in English, the indication is that the coat belongs to a female. And I'm going to put that in pink, okay? Because we're using her. In French, however, it is not about who it belongs to. It is about whether coat is masculine or feminine and not about the person that has the coat. So in French, we would say, c'est son manteau. Okay, so you may ask, but how did we establish that suddenly we're using the masculine colon? if it belongs to her, but well, that's because manteau is masculine, okay? Not about who it belongs to. And this is the hardest uh, point, grammatical point to grasp as an English speaker, okay? So his, her, his, it's either son, son, sa, or si, depending on whether the word is plural. And I will give you examples in one minute. Now for our, it's quite easy actually, because it is notre Notre, notre, so that's the same. And only when it is a plural, you put an S and you drop the T-R-E, so no, okay? And the same for you all. Votre, 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 and then vous. And the same for leur, which is the easiest because the sound is the same. Leur, 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 and leur, okay? So try to absorb this chart, okay? Because I'm going to give you some examples now. Here we go. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the example with masculine nouns. We want to say my pen is blue. So knowing that pen, stylo, is a masculine, okay, and I'm going to write, actually put it in color here, stylo, okay, is masculine. Then if we follow the chart, we go to the masculine colon. It doesn't start with an H. It doesn't start with a vowel. So we need to go for mon, okay? So mon stylo est bleu. 
my pen is blue. Now let's have a look at the next example. Son stylo est bleu. We know for a fact that stylo is masculine. So even if you want to say her pen is blue, you will still have to say son because it is about the gender of the word you are using and no, not who it belongs to. So son stylo est bleu. Okay? And have a look at when we say your, the same applies. It is masculine, so ton stylo est bleu. Now let's have a look at the next example. Emma puts on her coat. Okay, sorry about that. It should be puts on her coat. Now, manteau is, we established just a minute ago, that it is masculine. And therefore, therefore, we say son. Okay, son. Her coat, and I know, I know that her is feminine here, but in French it is not who it belongs to. In French it is about the gender of the word you are using. So I'm mixing, 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 mixing up with the colors here, but just to give you an idea, let's have a look at what it looks like when using a feminine noun. noun. Il mange... Sa pomme. Now here we are using pomme and we are using sa because pomme is feminine. Okay, and I know the translation could be he is eating his apple, but again, remember that it's not about who is eating it, it's about the gender of the word you're using in French. Elle mange notre pomme. She is eating our apple. So we found notre in this colon. Let's have a look at that. Have a look. Notre féminine. Notre is the same as masculine. Notre and with a vowel, notre. Pluriel, plural will be no. The next example. Leur télévision est dans ma chambre. So we've got two things happening here. But two words that are feminine. And by the way, if you do not know which word is feminine or masculine, most of the time, 75% of the time, if the words end with an E, it is likely to be feminine. Unless it has a yon sound, like le de télévision. Pomme as an E. It's likely to be feminine. There is a, a lot of videos that I have produced on knowing whether it's uh, the gender is masculine or feminine. So I do invite you to have a look at them. Their television is in my bedroom. So there is leur, because we know leur is always the same unless it's a plural. And my is ma, because chambre is feminine. It's not mon, it's not me. It is my, because chambre is feminine. To finish, let's have a look at what happens when the example uh, begins with a nature of vowel. Regardless of their gender, it is always the same. The colon you must use is the colon where it says H or vowel. So, école is feminine, believe it or not. But, because it starts with a vowel, we have to say mon école. And it's purely because it sounds better than ma école. Okay, so mon école est grande, my school is big. Let's have a look at plural nouns. Mes stylos sont bleus. Now, it doesn't matter whether you don't know. Well, it does a bit. But if you don't know mes stylos, as in my pens, if you don't know whether it's masculine or feminine, because it will always be mes, whether the word that follows is masculine or feminine. So, mes stylos, plural. The only time it matters, it's when you are going to use an adjective afterwards or any other kind of agreement words that come with the subject. Mes stylos sont bleus. We know here it's masculine plural because we have it added an S, okay? And that reflects to this, which reflects to this, okay? So it all merges uh, together in symbiosis. Elle mange no pomme. Now, no pomme, funnily enough, is pomme, we know, is feminine. But it is no Regardless whether it's feminine or masculine, it is plural. That's what matters. So, 
here is the plural, okay? So, elle mange no pommes, she is eating our apples. Okay, let's have a look at a few examples. More examples are available on the support guide. So, please acquire the support guide. It's really useful. Now, we want to say, il porte, we want to use my, pull rouge. Now, remember the colon, mon, ma, me. Have a look at this. Mon, ma, me, your, ton, ta, te, his or her, son, sa, se, our, notre, notre, no, your, votre, votre, vos, their, leur, leur, leur. Okay? Well, let's have a look. <coughs> Il porte, he's wearing my jumper, red, my red jumper. So, what is my? Now, what you've got to decide is what is the uh, gender of the word we want to say, okay? We want to use. Pull just happened to be masculine. So, because we know it is masculine, we know that my is going to be mon. Not ma, not me, okay? So, you've got three ways here. Is it ma? No, because pull is masculine. Is it me? No, because pull is not plural. So it is mon. And I'm going to write it in yellow because it's clearer. Mon. Il porte mon pull rouge. He's wearing my red jumper. Next. Nous allons chez, and we want to say our, Tante Jeanne. We are going to our, Auntie's Jan, Jane. Okay, Jane. Okay. How do you say our? Now, remember that our can either be notre, notre, or no. Now, this is easy here because we are not using a plural. There is no S, no S at the end, okay? We are not saying our grandparents, okay? We are saying just my auntie Jane. So, it is either notre, notre, okay? In that case, it's notre, okay? But auntie, so you know, is feminine, okay? The next one. Paul et Tom ont préparé their voyage. Tom and Paul and Tom have prepared their journey. Okay. Now we know that there has different, uh, obviously, ways. So we'd see the leur and leur or leur. Which one is there? Is it as voyageness at the end? No. So it's not plural. Well, the easy thing is that it's either leur or leur, which is the same. Now, voyage doesn't mean to say that you mustn't know the gender is masculine. Okay? So, Paul et Tom ont préparé leur voyage. Paul and Tom have prepared their journey or their traveling or whatever. Next, we want to say my for the first one and her for the second one. My sœur habite à Paris, mais her fils habite à Londres. My sister lives in Paris, but her son lives in London. Okay, so how would you say my? Now remember, and I'm going to put that here, we have either mon, ma for feminine, or me for, mas, uh, for plural, okay? I'm ignoring the uh, vowel here, then H, okay? Well, sir is sister. It is actually feminine. Okay, so knowing that, we would say ma. It doesn't begin with a vowel, so we are okay. So it's ma. Ma sœur habite à Paris. My sister lives in Paris. Mais, but, okay, mais, her son lives in London. So this is where the complicated, uh, the complex things start, okay, because her is either Son, when the word is masculine. Sa, when the word that follows is feminine. Or se, when the word that follows is plural. Well, fils is son. I know it has an S, but it's a singular word. Un fils, that's the way we spell it. It's not plural, okay? But is it son or is it sa? Fils is masculine. So therefore, the word is going to be son. Ma sœur 
habite à Paris, mais son fils habite à Londres. All right? Okay, that's it for me. The rest of the practice is on the support guide. So please acquire the support guide. Available if you click the join button below. Au revoir, à bientôt. Bisous, bisous. Salut. Thank <laughs> you.